Hi everybody, happy Wednesday, happy Facebook Live night. Um, this is Melissa Thomas from C2C Stamping. If you're watching this later on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, I am volunteering for Girl Scouts this week at a Girl Scout Day Camp here in Austin, Texas. So I'm just happy to be here <laughs> and not passed out. Um, hi Anne, welcome. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that I can see us on my laptop so that um, I can watch your comments come in. And I've got a couple of things that I wanna show and talk about tonight. So one of the things is um, my um, new paper party for the holiday catalog. The holiday catalog is coming out. Um, I am working to get all those delivered to all my local customers next week. Um, and if you're not local, then you probably should have gotten one in, in the mail. Um, if you don't have one and you'd like one, please send me a message and I'm happy to send you one if you don't have a demonstrator. Um, but I do a um, paper party with each new catalog and that's an opportunity for us to make a bunch of cards, learn about the new papers, and then you get a piece of each new paper. So I split the large packs quarter ways. Um, so you get a quarter pack of all the new specialty papers. And I think for, um, I was looking just to see the price, um, so for this um, holiday catalog, hi Elena, it's going to be um, $45 with, uh, for porch pickup for customers and it's $8 priority shipping if I need to mail it to you. I have to mail it in a priority flat rate mailer to fit the 6 by 12 Thanks so much. And then um, the it's $32 for my team. So if you're on the team and you want to get a piece of all the new holiday catalog papers, um, it's $32 for porch pickup or plus $8 for the mailing. Now that also includes a card for every packet. And I kind of want to show you a sample of the cards that we just did for the annual catalog. So you have an idea of what you're getting and kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm going to show those off tonight too, but I wanted to um, kind of, you know, prep you guys on that and I'm going to be announcing that over the next couple of days. Um, and then we have until July the 1st to RSVP for that and July the 5th for um, paying for it. So just FYI on that. All right. So pulling us up over here just so I can make sure I can see all of our conversation. And here we go. Excellent, okay. So I'm gonna rotate this down and then we're going to kind of talk about the paper party and we'll also play with the new Nourish and Flourish kit. Um, so let me cover the camera, just give me a sec. Okay, so the Nourish and Flourish kit is what you're seeing. <laughs> And it's a really cool kit in the new um, holiday catalog. It includes this really nice insulated lunch box, which is um, quite large. I mean, you can see these are my hands. I have relatively large hands and it's a big lunch box. It has the Stampin' Up! logo on the back. It's got a cute blue bottom. And then it's got this really cute floral print and polka dots everywhere else. And it has two zippers that go around. So super cute that it's a lunchbox and it's a nice little insulated tote. I think it would also probably fit the mini um, steam and cut emboss machine, so just FYI. And it's got a little handle. The um, Every holiday catalog, we have um, a product that is our product give back. And this month, the product, sorry, I'm trying to like balance my phone out. Um, my mount is broken and I haven't gotten a replacement piece for it yet. Um, so the product give back is um, an opportunity for um, Stampin' Up! to give money back to the community. And this Nourish and Flourish kit is, and um, the money's going to help food insecurity. So going to like food banks and places like that. And I wanted to show you what was in the kit. So the kit includes the lunchbox, which is super cute. I think it makes a really nice gift. Um, so if you were to, you know, want to give one of these for Christmas, I think this would be a really nice opportunity. Um, like all of our kits, it has um, all the adhesives and things that you need. And it also has instructions. 
All right, so I'm gonna look at the instructions. There's three different cards. Um, and I'm just gonna make sure that I know kind of all the, the pieces I need, but they're all, um, and there's always a video that comes with it too. So it has some really cute little pearls and some dimensionals. And it's got some nice um, pre-printed envelopes, and I love that the insides are really pretty. So there's this like dark kind of shaded spruce, and then a soft kind of petal pink, and a pool party. Those are really pretty. I'm gonna set that over on the side. And then the card bases have some texture on them, and they're really nice. Sometimes texture is hard to see on camera. But hopefully, if I kind of hold this in the right direction, maybe, yeah, you might be able to see. So this has like a floral, um, or like a leaf pattern on it. So one has a leaf pattern. One, here's all of our pieces. Ooh, that's cool. This one's like a, almost like a chevron or a ribbon pattern. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, there we go. And then the other one, oh yes, more pieces, good, is, oh, like a quatrefoil, almost like a tin roof kind of pattern. That's fun. So these card bases come already embossed and ready to go. We've got all of our floral pieces here, and then we've got a bunch of these pieces, and these are actually, oops, stickers. Mm, I like that, because <laughs> the adhesive is included. Now these have three different sheets, so I'm assuming that it's gonna be like one sheet per set. So I'm gonna set that over here. And then in the languages, so Stampin', not Stampin' Up! Facebook moved the menus, and so everything is backwards for you, and I'm sorry. Um, I can't find the, there's a, a menu. In Facebook Live, there's a menu that flips the, the rotation so that you can see what um, I can see, and it, it's not where it was before. So, um, so it's uh, just saying hello. I appreciate you more than you know, and I'm just so lucky to know you. There's three sheets of that. It's also in German. It's also in French. So we, um, oh, hey, all right. You know, I love having them in Dutch as well. It's always nice. So, um, my mom is from the Netherlands, handy. I'm just going to, I'll go ahead and punch a set in English. Is it easy? Now one of the nice things is, is that if you wanted to instead use the flip side, you've already got a nice kind of die cut piece. You could stamp whatever sentiment you want on the back side. Um, my friend and teammate Kim was talking about that the other night because she put together the kit and she said, you know, I'm not sure I want these sentiments for all of them. She said, I'm just gonna keep the pieces there and if I decide to use it, great, and if I don't, I can always flip it. It's like, oh, that's smart, so. All right, so now, all of our little pieces, all our little fun pieces. Oh, this is a lot of flowers. All right, so we're going to card one, card two, card three. So we'll pop out a bunch of leaves. Always fun. All right, and then this one has some pretty little buds. A lot of them, though. Mm -mm. All right, and these little pieces. And with this card, I'm just following the directions. There's like a little set of directions next to me, and I'm just looking at the directions. All right. Softer green leaves with that guy. I definitely see that. Bright green leaves with him. And a couple of blue. Oh. Yep. Okay, good. All right, we got all our pieces popped out. So, um, this one is the last. So, I'll kind of put that there. And then this one. 
this one. Yes. Okay, so we'll do one at a time. So with this one, we're going to peel the blue sticker, the pull party. So this is a fun kit. You could give this for the holidays or a, you know, a birthday that you've got coming up. And what I like about this is that then you could choose to make it together, which is kind of nice. So um, I like to um, you know, make the cards um, card making is a fun activity to do, I think, over the holidays. Uh, and so I'm going to put, the reason that we're putting these in the middle, normally I would kind of space them around, but we're going to tuck some flowers in and around this. And so, and I'm going to get my bone folder in here and I'm just going to bone fold this because then it's going to lay nice and flat and I'm not going to be fussing with it. All right. So. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue. One of these is gonna go kind of under. I'm not gonna use the glue dots just because I think that they're a little, a little frustrating. So I'm just gonna kind of stick that there. And then it looks like this big leaf is gonna go here. And then this, so I've got kind of part of it glued flat and part of it glued on. And that's a nice way to do that. Just put a little bit of glue and one little dimensional there. And then we've got another dimensional here for this one. Kind of rest of those guys together. And then this leaf is going to go underneath so we're just going to kind of so all we're doing is we're just kind of building right a little floral seam here and then this one is going to i'm actually just gonna see this one not on a, just on some glue i'm gonna go here Nice, just like that. So now we've got all of our little pieces and then we're just gonna add some pearls. So hi, Melissa, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the headband compliment, Elena. Um, my hair was extra wild. So this Girl Scout camp this week has been quite, um, quite, the, quite the week and uh, I've come home every day like completely and utterly wiped out and so I um, I have decided that I need to just take a shower take a nap you know and then I can I can be human again at some point after that but my uh, post nap hair is, is wild so there so now we've got nice little pearls those are really sweet all right, so that's a really nice looking card for minimal effort, um, and we love that. I love an easy, easy to put together card. All right, so let's take a look at this next one. So this one, we're actually going to do, I'm gonna do the bone folder again. So if you don't have a bone folder, I would highly recommend getting one. Um, I've talked about bone folders before, but bone folders are made of actual bone. Um, and the bone folders that you can get, the paper creasing pieces that you can get at craft stores are actually made of plastic. And they're really bad because they leave an indentation on your paper. They can actually like mar and scar your paper. Bone folders don't do that. They're very smooth and they don't do that. And so I very much like, um, I like our bone folders a lot. So, all right, so we're gonna do kind of the same principle here. So we're just gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back and we're gonna put them pretty tight uh, in the middle just so that we have room. 
for all of our fun little flowers that are gonna kind of sprout out of here. Now this one, we definitely could have left the sentiment off if we wanted, and we could have just glued all of our little pieces down. So here's all of our flower pieces. And we're just going to work on making a little, a little piece. All right, so we've got, we've got a really large flower, and then we've got some, got this, and we got this. So I'm just gonna kind of lay these out first and just make sure that everything kind of goes where I want it to go. I'm gonna flip it for a quick sec so it's right side up for me. Uh, and then I promise I'll flip it back and make it right side for you. All right, so let's get some of these and let's add a little bit of glue. Um, all right, so we've got this one. This one goes here. So I like the green glue for this task, partly because it gives you a second to kind of put things in place. Um, and it is actually one of our strongest glues, which is interesting. Um, although glue dots are actually, I think, our strongest. But, yeah, so we're just gonna kind of stick out some of these in a few random places. We don't need a ton of this to glue it all down, but okay. Then we're going to probably tuck a few leaves. All right, I think this is gonna go like here because we're gonna put a nice big flower right behind there. Okay, and then this flower is going to go over here on the side, maybe back down here a little bit, and then this leaf is going to go underneath this flower, but I need to kind of tuck the flower up and under first. Oh, okay. And then I can probably get the leaf and tuck it under. All right, so then we've got our set. And then all we have to do is add some fun little pearls. So we're always operating in sets of like uneven, right? We want like a set of three or five. That's always our goal. So there we go. Set of three. Hi, Debbie. Nice to see you. All right. So we've done one and we've done two. And now we're going to do the third card. So there is three of each card. So the kit makes nine cards and it includes the lunch box, which is super cute. And $3 from the sale of each kit will go to um, fight food insecurity. And um, the kit is $39, so just so you know, in US dollars. So just thought I would let everybody know that. This kit will be available for customers starting on July 1 with the new holiday catalog. Love the new holiday catalog. It's got a lot of great a lot of great things. All right, so this is gonna go down here on the bottom and I'm going to kind of find a corner and start it and then that'll hopefully help me make a, a good, good, a good lineup. And then this one, we have this sentiment and we're gonna put some few dimensionals in the middle. So again, we're putting the dimensionals in the middle because we're actually adding this first, and then we're kind of building the flowers out and about from there. So we're gonna start with a couple of our big flowers. So I just wanna make sure I've got my, my corners right. So we'll put a little bit of glue here and put a flower there and then we'll a little bit of glue here. 
so yes, I could use the glue dots that were provided, but I'm being lazy and <laughs> just using some Tombow multi-purpose liquid adhesive because I think it's just a little bit, a little bit faster, a little bit easier. And I'm just feeling like I don't wanna mess with that. All right, so we've got some leaves in here. We're actually gonna add the darker leaves as well. So a little bit of contrast with the big leaves and the small leaves. Okay, there we go. And then we've got a few tiny little leaf pieces. So we can put a little bit of glue here. And then we can put a little bit here. And then I think we're gonna pop up these last guys with some dimensions. So we can pop this one right here, kind of next to him. Put him actually, let's, let's put that on top of that. There we go. Okay, and then we've got some pearls, because why not? All right, so let me talk about the paper party. So if you're on my team, the paper party for the holiday catalog is $32. If you're not, it's $45. Um, that's porch pickup, so if you want it shipped to you, you need to add the $8 in priority shipping. Uh, I want to show you the papers from, hey Donna, um, hey Kathy Palmer, I want to show you the papers from the spring catalog, or the holiday catalog, and then I also want to show you kind of the quality of the projects from this last round that we did. So the paper party includes 12 cards that are designed and um, you get the ingredients to make all the cards. So I'm just gonna show you really quick a few of the cards that we did this last time out of the, that's probably my favorite, out of the papers from the annual catalog. Um, so these are fun cards. They're not meant to be super hard. They are meant to kind of show you how you can use different kinds of papers the reasoning behind each of the different papers and kind of what that, um, you know, what that looks like and how you can easily make really fun and beautiful cards with the different papers from the catalog. So I'd like to kind of talk a little bit about the papers. So that is an example of, I think that's most of the ones we did from the annual catalog. And then let's talk a little bit about the new papers. So um, if it's a six by six, then you'll get a quarter pack, so you'll just get whole sheets. This is um, really beautiful paper. Look at that, isn't that pretty with a tree on it? Um, there's like little frame pieces. So we'll kind of talk about like why was the paper designed the way it was? How is it meant to be used, right? Really get you into the paper and get you playing with it um, because we want you to understand why Stampin' Up! does what they do. And we as demonstrators do get a lot of background into the design of the paper packs. That is lights of glue. And so we want to make sure that you are given that information too, right? Because information is key when you're armed with that information and you understand how a paper was supposed to be used, you know, then you're in a better place. The stamp set that we're gonna use for um, the paper party is called Very Best Occasion. It's a really cute set. It has both Christmas sentiments, fall sentiments, but also birthday, um, sympathy, I'm thinking of you. So really nice kind of all occasion stamp set. Um, this is some of the new Glimmer paper that's in the specialty pack. This is um, also one of the specialty papers and it's called Metallic Shimmer. 
and it's very beautiful. So this is included in the specialty pack, which is an add-on. Um, I think it's like ten dollars or something like that. I'll put it all out um, later on today. Um, this is Christmas wishes, which you can see I've already <laughs> dipped into a little bit. But it's um, lots of very traditional reds and greens, a little bit of sweet sorbet in here too. But there's also really cool and cute candy canes. So there's large candy canes that can be cut out. There's small ones. Um, it's a really nice, uh, very traditional paper with just a touch of pool party. So that's a really nice paper. There's also new gnome paper. <laughs> and the gnome paper is super cute. Um, a lot of people creating with this one already. So we've got all sorts of gnomes. We've got really nice, like a, almost a sweater feel. We've got some mountains and trees. So we've got cute little, oh, look at those foxes and deer. They're so cute. Fun little mushroom houses. Um, so a lot of these pieces can actually stand independently, right? Like you could fussy cut these pieces out. You don't even need to buy the stamp set that goes with this because the paper is so strong. Um, oh, the mushrooms are cute. Oh, I love the snowflake too. So that's really nice to be able to have that option and to not have to feel like you have to buy a bunch of stamp sets when you've gotten the paper. Um, this is the really traditional called Bows of Holly paper. It is poinsettias and then some. And so I will show you this one. So this paper has lots of deep dark reds, lots of poinsettias. I love the birch bark. Love the trees, right? We've got some greens, nice traditional kind of foliage, some nice stripes. So I really like the B side of this paper. I'm not a huge fan of poinsettias. Uh, growing up, they just weren't a thing in our house. And so, but I really like the B side of that paper and I think we'll be, we'll definitely be using that. This is the, is this the black and white? Yeah, so this is the black and white design paper. This is actually the Halloween paper this year, which is interesting. Um, so it has, but it's very um, black and white, and then on this side is gray. So you're gonna see the same pattern, but in gray, right? So, or like a, an inverse of it. Um, so you've got some really fun kind of, you know, Halloween festive prints, but they're not, straight up Halloween. I think it's a nice homage to Halloween. It doesn't have to be screamingly Halloween. There is new washi tape, by the way, for Halloween. I just wanted to point that out because I love washi. This is a specialty paper, I think. Yeah, this is, what's this one called? Festive foils, yeah, there's a few. So this is, um, actually, I think I included this one in, you'll get a quarter pack of this, so it'll be yeah, half a sheet. But I included this one in the traditional share, um, but you can see it's very, very shiny. Um, it's got some nice pieces, but it's not as much. Okay, this is the Gingham Cottage, which is really large. You'll get, um, so you'll get kind of a standard share of this. I'm just gonna split it a little bit farther because it's $30 for the pack of paper, which is really expensive, but it's because you get a lot of each sheet. So you actually get four of each sheet, which normally you get two in a in the standard paper pack. So this is a bunch of different gingham patterns in different colors. And you can see there's reds, there's greens, there's grays, there's pinks. So we can do Halloween, we can do St. Patrick's Day, we can do Christmas, we can do birthdays, thinking of yous. Um, so it's a very versatile pattern, but it's very consistent throughout. Um, so we will explore that one. This is also a specialty paper. It's the new um, Glimmer paper, and um, it's in red, no, black and white, I think. And then this is beautiful new um, snowflake vellum. This is very pretty. Um, and so there's pieces that are flocked. So it has that soft flocking on it. Um, so there's one piece that has snowflakes, soft flocking, one that has dots, soft flocking, one that has kind of larger, fatter snowflakes with flocking, and then the same 
but in the silver foil on the vellum. So kind of a fatter flake, a snow dot one, and then a thinner flake. So um, really beautiful paper and getting some of this will be really fun. We'll have a lot of fun playing with that paper. The fall paper I really love because it's got a lot of black in it and I think it's really striking. So it's got, what is it called? Hello Harvest? Rustic Harvest. I'll try to slide it out a little bit. So we've got pumpkins and we've got stripes. We've got some nice yellows, some acorns. We've got some mums. We've got um, some gourds, but like a nice variety. And then we've got a really pretty black and white um, leaf pattern and some nice Cajun craze and some green tendrils. So really pretty paper, uh, very, you know, very fall, very warm. This one's a fun paper. This is the Santa Express paper and all different kinds of Santas in here. This is a fun paper. I got two more paper packs left and then we're done for the night. Uh, let me see if I can actually get into this one. All right, there we go. Good. So we've got Santa, and we've got some stripes, and there's some texture in here, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we've got Mrs. And Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. We've got some fa la 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 on the flip side of that. We've got um, this really funny <laughs> reindeer who's singing. Ho, ho, ho on the back of there. We've got... Christmas packages, we've got some little um, polka dots, uh, we've got, if I can get to it, we've got trees and snowflakes, and then some really cool scenes that can be cut and used, um, and there's a bunch of those, and then this red kind of starlight pattern. So this is a fun paper, I love the non-traditional colors. A little bit of pink in there. I never heard anybody. And then I posted some pictures about the Splendid Day Suite. Um, this is the new suite. It is a non-holiday suite in the holiday catalog. This is the first time they've had a non-holiday suite in there. And so you'll get a quarter pack of this paper as well. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's got Calypso Coral, Soft Seafoam, Pool Party, Fresh Freesia. Um, and this purple shoot's really pretty. So. It's a great deal, um, and I hope that you will participate. And then the other thing that you'll get is when you participate in that, you will get a sample of the new Hostess paper. There is a new pack of Hostess paper called Celebrate Everything, and it features papers from all of kind of the seasons of our life. So it's got some cute Halloween paper. I love this little. Um, got some stars, it's got some cute little ornaments, we've got some trees, some fireworks, some gingerbread. So you'll also get a little sample of all of that, which is really nice, and this is a lot of fun to, to make card fronts with and little card pieces. So, all right, that's it. So for now, um, check out all the new announcements that I've got going on. I'm gonna rotate us up and say good night. Um, thanks so much for coming. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're watching on YouTube later, thank you so much. Please subscribe so that I can get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year, that's my goal. And, um, and then I have a new class coming next month featuring the good feeling stamp set and the masks. Um, so check that out. And then I'm also participating in a um, Christmas card series. Um, and so there's a couple of us participating in that. So if you're interested in knocking out a lot of Christmas cards with us, join us in that. So um, more on that this weekend. Be looking out for that. Uh, we call ourselves the Merry Makers. Um, all right. Have a wonderful night. See you later. Bye y'all.